So welcome and thank you for being here. I'm Frank Loy, and along with uh, Lynn Goldman to my right, we chair the Roundtable on Environmental Health Medicines and Research. And uh, a couple of words, some of you have been to a lot of these meetings, some of you have not, but a couple of words as to what the Roundtable is about and what it's not about. It's a stakeholder convening operation. We've been in, a, in existence since 1998. Uh, and uh, in distinction to some other uh, National Academies uh, activities, we are not uh, empowered to and we don't seek to come to a consensus on issues. But we seek to discuss them and to assemble the right people to discuss them and illuminate uh, some issues and encourage further work uh, on them. And um, we, we read the environment rather broadly to include the issues such as um, the impact on health of urban urbanization. Uh, we have done uh, urban sprawl. We've done uh, a program on nanotechnology. And uh, not very long ago, we'd, we had um, a really excellent program, uh, I think a, a, a home run as far as I'm concerned, on the health impact of hydrofracking. Um, so what we want to do, and, and we do that in a kind of a broad fashion um, across disciplines, and frequently we address uh, environmental issues in sort of a life cycle analysis form to not just focus on one element of it, but to, to get the totality of the impact of a particular activity. I am neither a physician nor a scientist. Um, uh, my interest is, has been in environmental and climate issues for a long time and in the international relations aspect of that. Um, one of the things that I think is really important um, to recognize is that, especially in the area of climate change uh, today, uh, there is not a very broad um, public support for action, as everybody in the room knows well. And it does seem to me that without fear-mongering, if we get it right and we address the um, health impact of uh, climate change, as well as other environmental issues, we actually will be significantly contributing to the debate. Because health is one of the motivators of um, a lot of persons that, uh, that are not motivated by other issues um, because they seem too far out. Um, we all recognize that every fuel source has a problem. Every fuel source has a negative as well as providing us uh, with energy. We all know that we're going to need energy in one form or another in increasing quantities. What we have to think about is the, the hidden health costs or, of different fuels. And in this meeting, um, we are going to discuss the health cost, the health impact of biofuels. Um, the goal today is not to determine a particular policy. Uh, on biofuels, but to look critically at the research and to discuss the possible uh, potential research, new, uh, pr new potential research on biofuels, and to view this from a variety of uh, points of view. I'm particularly glad that we have um, representatives here from, from industry like Shell um, because they can contribute a lot to our view, both from the practical point of view and also because they have, uh, at least in Shell's case, uh, such a deep bench of health scientists that uh, study these problems. So, we're <clears throat> let us get started. 
And the first um, panel will be introduced and chaired by my colleague, Dr. Lynn.